uh, any questions about this uh, passage? Yeah, how do we know if we are calling somebody the same? Yeah, so sometimes we may not be aware. Like Peter, for example, when he withdrew, separated himself, he was not probably aware. He was motivated by fear. So it was Paul who pointed out and rebuked him. Even though Paul was uh, much younger, he was, Peter was rebuked by the junior. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Jesus saying that we have to purify our hearts. We have to cleanse our hearts first. Then we then will not cause others to sin. That's why Jesus says, cut it off. If your hands cause you to sin, cut it off. So as I said, don't misunderstand. It doesn't mean that you cut off your hand. So basically Jesus is using hyperbole to demonstrate how serious it is, the sin is. We have to take that serious attitude. I guess from Peter and Paul's example, it means that because we are sometimes unaware of how we're influencing others, sin, then we need our, our brothers and sisters to be able to talk to us very honestly, directly. That's right. To that's our right. face. Yeah. <laughs> that's but right. we are doing that. That's right. Yeah. So you, you cannot. You cannot live a Christian life by yourself. That's why we need a community of believers. So that's why we meet together in commu community. And so that's why the marriage is the, the best place to discipleship. You know, so single ladies and uh, single guys so have a hope. So when you get married, that's the best place for discipleship. Next week, man. Because, because your wife or husband will point out your fault. So first three months, first three months, you you only see your good things about the uh, your spouse. First three months, but I guarantee, I guarantee you that after three months, all you see is the fault, the other. Even they are eating. It bugs you. <laughs> even their how they sleep bugs you. Oh how they even how they even pick up yourself bothers you. Anyway, at the time, your true self will reveal it. And uh, it's how you respond. Be, uh, you you will reveal your humanity. You are, so you are, if you are bugged, you are you know your wife or husband says something nasty. Then you have to respond with the grace. That's the humility. Uh, you know if you are how dare you say, say something negative. So that's that's the sign of pride. Mm. So you have to respond with the grace. When someone is, you know, when women go through hormonal period, <laughs> very moody, that's the husband should show grace. That's the true humility. Also, husband, when comes home after hard work, very tired, and the wife says something, you know, just uh, demand something, then the, the husband should show grace. I mean, same thing with the wife also. Uh, that's the hum true humility. So you serve them, serve them all. Anyway.